Okay, now this is 1440p, extreme presets, no scaling, and FXAA, and we're just squeaking under the VRAM. We don't have a warning for VRAM, so we're good. And uh, so you can see the frame rate is extremely high. 1% lows are great. 0.1% lows aren't fantastic, but I mean, they're fine. 50 is fine. I don't notice any, there it goes, it went up to 60. I'm not noticing any like micro stutters or anything like that. So this is, this is 1440p with everything on extreme, not just the preset, like actually everything. Yeah, um, it warned us about the VRAM before, so I mean, we're probably gonna get issues. When we're out here, we might be okay. Um, I can definitely see some, you know, those 0.1% lows, I can see them now. I couldn't before, oh, it's really bad, yeah. Um, so we're exceeding our VRAM here. This is what's happening, because you can see our FPS is up at 70, but the 0.1% lows are quite bad. Okay, well, 4K is just not working. Um, I restarted on Ultra and it's just even more freaking out. You can see the frames are just, I mean, it's not playable, obviously. Okay, so now we're at 4K Ultra instead of Extreme, and it looks to be performing a lot better. I'm assuming we're not hitting that VRAM. It didn't warn me this time. And there's no visual glitches, so it seems to be pretty good now. So 4K Ultra is going to be your cutoff, uh, with no DLSS, it's going to be your cutoff. Let's check out graphics. We're just playing original, so we'll just try original to start, but at 4K. I'm just going to run around this area. I'm not going to go further into the game. I got much farther on the PlayStation, so I'm not going to re-backtrack. But I'm, this is pretty good. 4K. Yeah, the 0.1% low is 36, but the 1% lows are 54, and the frame rate's high, and again, this is 4K. It doesn't actually make a huge difference in terms of the visuals to go from up the settings. It does look better, but it's you know it's not game changing. But you can see the frame rate has dropped down. So 4K high is a bit much for it. It's still above 30. You know, 53 is the frame rate, and the 1% low is 42. You could certainly play like this. This is 85% scaling at 4K, and we're back to original. Let's see. So 4K original settings with an 85% scaling. So it's somewhere between 4K and 1440p. And you know now we're way up there, 85, 86. So this is 4K Ultra with balanced DLSS. This looks actually really good. And again, we're rock solid above 60. Okay, yeah, so 1440p ultra native, 1440p ultra native rather than DLSS and uh, at 4K. And I mean, it's running great. Same same thing, basically. So, you know, this is a 1440p screen or 1600p screen. So this is what you're going to get if you throw it on ultra and just play the game. No DLSS needed. You're just going to max it. You know, it's dipping down right around 60. This is fantastic. But let's see. This is original and huge jump here. So if you're going to play the game, you know, with the high refresh rate that the Legion comes with at 1440p or 1600p native, uh, you can pretty much just throw it on a original and just play the game. So this is 1440p Ultra. Now, one thing to be aware of, um, I've noticed in this game, oh my God, it's already hitting issues. One thing I've noticed in this game is sometimes the FPS will stay up, like you can see the frame right there, and you'll either obviously get hitching, like the lows, or you'll get textures that just become like really low quality. So we'll have to be like kind of visually assessing this as well. It's not just the frame rates here because um, if you if you hit a VRAM wall, the textures will kind of just compensate and drop. But I mean, it's already playing really bad. Uh, 1440p ultra, no ray tracing, and it's really bad. It's actually more pronounced in person than on the capture card. Um, yeah, 0.1% lows at 12, which is bad, but also the 1% lows are pretty bad. Again, no ray tracing, 1440p high. I think we're gonna be okay now, based on what I understand. Yeah, it's not bad. This is a tough area. Um, yeah, I think you could you could probably play like this. There's a lot of there's a lot of lows. That's the downside. Even without ray tracing, it's pretty bad. It's not playable. Let's try 1440p medium. Maybe that we'll have enough VRAM for that. Maybe. 
and reset the benchmark, 1440p medium. I'm hoping this works. If I mean, if Hogwarts is a game you're very interested in, or a lot of like really modern games, uh, eight gigabytes is probably not where you're gonna wanna be. You're probably gonna buy in at 10 or 12. It's better now on medium, but we're still getting, those 0.1% lows are a bit troubling still. So, uh, let's just go with balanced. And maybe that'll uh, give us some more frames here and specifically improve the lows. Yeah, that's better. So you're gonna need DLSS in this game if you're running with a NVIDIA card that's um, eight gigabytes or below. If you wanna play this game with high frames on a 4000 series, you're gonna to have to buy an at the 4080. It's just gonna be that way. The game has a high VRAM demand uh, without DLSS, ugh, those lows. Yeah, I mean, it's running okay. It make, so let's see if it makes a difference with the fancy hair turned off. Wow, it actually makes a huge difference. So um, let's see if it stays up those 1% lows. It's interesting that the hair works made such a difference. This is 1440p with balanced DLSS now. All the other settings are the same, so it's basically the ultra settings, no ray tracing. Uh, considerably more playable now. Um, so if you want to play at 1440p ultra with uh, with no ray tracing, you're, you're going to need DLSS, but this is fine. The 1% lows are good, 65, that's great. So quality DLSS here, and it's still fine. So I don't think you need balance. It's just bringing that VRAM down, you know, and getting a little bit of DLSS really helps the card. Uh, you can see DLSS is on quality. Let's put that up one to balance. So DLSS balanced on, and we're on just the normal ray trace, not the ultra or whatever. And we'll see where we're at. That's good, actually. It's working fine. We had to turn up the DLSS, obviously. We can't run with DLSS quality anymore, assuming you want 60 FPS, but it's doable. We have the ray tracing set to normal. Looks good. So it looks like at 1080p, uh, it's, the heck are those things? Uh, 1080p is very doable with ray tracing on. Uh, Crystal Palace, I was told, is a demanding one. There are some dips here and there, but it's, it is working. So this is doable. I mean, it's not great, obviously, but uh, you know, we're going up and down, but it seems okay. 1080p, you might want to lower your resolution a bit, maybe, but uh, Yeah, so 1080p, it's doable, definitely works. I mean, RTX on an RTX card. Uh, you're not gonna wanna play at 1440p. You may even wanna decrease it a bit, but this is, it's fine. Looks good to me. So this is 1440p and I just maxed it. I just put it on ultra and there's no DLSS. Um, the 0.1% lows are a little bit low, but it's fine. I'm gonna have to turn it down a bit. We're not hitting a VRAM wall or anything like that. So with this game here, we should be able to just play with the settings until we get what we want. The fans are going like crazy, but um, that's the CPU more than anything, I would say. The GPU is not getting hot. CPU is a little up there, but Red Dead's pretty demanding. So, so this is 1440p uh, ultra textures, and then the other things are set to medium. Didn't make a huge difference to be honest, but uh, the actual frame rate is up a lot. We're still getting not the best lows, but it's doable. I mean, it's, uh, it's dipping out a bit. You could play like this. I mean, the 1% lows are okay. The 0.1% lows are a bit low, but. Okay, so now we're at 4K Ultra, but I have the X HD textures enabled. However, I do have uh, FSR turned up. The lows are pretty low, but. Uh, 
we're doing okay. I mean, it's 4K and we're, we have the HD textures enabled. So let's just turn on a little bit more FSR. Let's go with balanced and just see if we can get it to uh, not hitch so much. So this is balanced now, FSR, but we still have it at ultra with the HD textures enabled and it seems to be okay now. Our lows are not fantastic, but we're doing okay. And because we have, you know, the scaling because of the FSR, we're not, doesn't look like we're hitting the VRAM limit anymore. We're not getting those hitches. Okay, so now we're at 1440p and we have the HD textures on no FSR to start. Let's see where we're at here. So the lows are dipping down, but it looks like you can probably get away with 1440p ultra with the HD textures pack. Yeah, I mean, it's not dipping down. So I think you can just play 1440p and just basically max it. Turn on ray tracing, put on uh, the HD textures, and it looks good. Those lows of 40 are nothing, to be honest. It's not that bad. Ultra. Uh, if you're really, really worried about dipping down below 60 ever, um, then you can just, looks like you can probably just throw on FSR. Let's go like that. Yeah, so just ultra quality FSR. And we have, you know, the game maxed. And uh, looks good. I wouldn't do this, to be honest. I just play it at the native resolution, just max it out. So this is Spider-Man Remastered. We're at 1440p. I'll uh, we'll start with very high. That's maxed out. Ray tracing off, obviously, to start. And um, DLSS off, TAA on. So let's see where we're at. So we are getting some pretty major dips there. Could be loading in assets or like a memory bandwidth thing or something. Because their actual frame rate is way up. But the lows are quite bad, actually. So um, let's see what we can do here. So DLSS quality, and we're still on high. Let's see if we can keep those lows up a bit. It's still dropping down. Those are just the one percent low. The one, the one. Yeah, I don't know. I'm um, not sure why it's dropping down so much. So I'm gonna throw on VSync just to start. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe it'll help. Okay, so now I have VSync on. I don't know if it's gonna make any difference, but maybe it'll keep this GPU cooler or something. This is my theory. Yeah, that's actually helping a lot. So, you know, when it's going, it's really going on max. And I was getting, um, you know, pretty bad frame pacing and, you know, the lows were really bad. So I don't, maybe this is not the type of game you just max, you know, frame rates, at least on a uh, laptop, because you, you end up really getting a lot of fluctuations. You know, this is substantially better. Uh, you know, this is one of the issues with, you just see bar graphs and that in games. Um, you really do need to test, see test footage from time to time. Uh, yeah, let's see, maybe. Yeah, now we can do very high. So when you have VSync off, it just, it goes too high or something and this, the system just gets too hot. That's my theory at least. Um, Either, the, either it gets wattage bound or, or temperature bound. So we're on medium settings, ray tracing on high. I do have DLSS on to quality. This seems to be running really well. Again, we have that VSync thing on because I don't know what's up, but the v, when it's off, it just kills the performance. So, so this is balanced DLSS with the settings more or less maxed. Ultra presets and uh, ultra ray tracing or very high ray tracing, and this, this is better. So you're gonna need balanced, really. Um, doesn't seem to be dropping down very much. Okay, so here we are in The Last of Us, 1440p. It looks like you know we're just getting out of the VRAM there. 
So we're at um, ultras, obviously too much. We can see the VRAM there, so we're not gonna try that. Uh, we're not gonna try high, because we're gonna exceed VRAM. Medium, looks like it's letting us. All right, okay, let's try medium. If it's gonna let us, it's gonna let us. Uh, it might not play well, but we're definitely not gonna be able to go any higher than that. Uh, 1% lows, 0.1% lows are pretty bad, but. Yeah, so I mean, it's playing fine. The 1% lows are, 0.1% lows are pretty bad. The fans are really going. Um, unfortunately, this game is also pretty CPU intensive. So, you know, having the whole shared cooling system is going to be a little bit rough. Let's go and let's go NVIDIA DLSS. We're going we're gonna to need a lot, unfortunately. Um, see, that's still at nine. That's too much. Uh, it's still at eight. Well, it may work. Let's see. Oh, uh, no, it's still got pretty bad lows, but it may be okay. Yeah, so I mean, just, yeah. We, we all know that this game has, is very demanding on VRAM, and uh, this just doesn't run fantastic overall. But this seems okay. As long as you throw on DLSS, you might be able to get high 1440p. It warned us about the VRAM, but it doesn't seem to be really tanking.